Matterhackers is the largest desktop 3D printing and digital manufacturing retailer in America. Our goal is to help educators demystify all of the technologies, brands, and materials out there and recommend the best solutions for your classroom. We've recently launched the Matterhackers Education Ambassador Program, where we're amplifying the voices of real teachers who are advocating for 3D printing in schools across the country. Join us now to learn more about the newest technologies that are empowering the next generation of our workforce. Teaching 3D printing builds confidence in students. These kids built their 3D printers. The mom told me, you know what, my daughter just told me, I'm gonna be an engineer when I grow up. How do you not feel accomplished as a teacher? Workforce development is crucial, and 3D printing prepares students for jobs. It's a natural thing. They're gonna be learning what they're doing in the classroom now, and taking that into college and into a potential job after college. But one skill that I think that added manufacturing really prepares uh, students for after high school is with problem solving. The ability to go through and solve a problem uh, is critical. So additive manufacturing, 3D printing does that. I believe that there are four C's that happen every time you do something with 3D printing. And that's communication, creativity, collaboration, and critical thinking. And if you think about it, those are things that are going to help your students forever. Teaching 3D printing engages your students' imagination with the freedom to invent. What the students would do, you give them the topic, do some research, see what you come up with, and I don't want to tell you too much, and then we come back together and find out what we found. And it's a nice, more sort of uh, positive outlook and a way of doing things. 3D printing empowers and motivates students with project-based learning that also teaches soft skills like leadership. When I say student agency, I'm referring to providing that voice and choice for students. So you should be creating a framework that allows students to be able to incorporate what's important to them and that will engage them more in the work that you're trying to have them do and still tie into the, the content standards that you feel are important for them to learn. The accessibility of this technology creates the real opportunity of normalizing diversity in STEM fields. You know, where I teach, it's 99% Latin Latino. So to have, you know, a child that's, you know, a minority say, hey, I want to be an engineer. Awesome. That it's a girl. Awesome. Eventually, hopefully enough become engineers, scientists, designers, and so on that we don't have to throw out the label of, well, by the way, they're Hispanic, Latino, African-American. It's a girl and so on, where it's ingrained in our culture that, okay, you know what? It's expected now to want to be an engineer. From reviews and advice to curriculum and events, you can count on the experts at Matter Hackers and our education ambassadors to be a reliable source when it comes to 3D printing in the classroom, library, and makerspace. You can find us at matterhackers.com education or email education at matterhackers.com. Join us at ISTE Live 21 to learn how to bring your students the technology they'll need for their future and the future of education.